let's look at gravity again. The majority of flat earthers believe that the force of gravity does not exist. Most don't know why, but they just believe that it doesn't exist. And basically, they just pass it off as density and buoyancy, making things fall down. Did you know that if density alone were responsible for an object's weight, then the weightless experience on the zero-g aircraft, previously known as the vomit comet, would not occur the way it does? Let me hit this a little closer. If density alone were somehow responsible for weight, absent any force, then only certain objects would be weightless at certain times, or more specifically, falling at certain speeds. We all know how the zero-g aircraft works. It flies in a parabola, and as it's going down, everything inside of it is basically in a state of freefall. So if the zero-g aircraft dove at one speed, then light enough objects like water would float, but the people would still be on the floor. If it dove faster, so the water would rush to the roof, and then lighter people would begin to float. And then if it dove even faster, the poor light people would get squished up against the roof, just like the water, and then the heavier folks could have a turn. This would be the observation that you have on the zero-g aircraft if gravity didn't exist. If any of this sounds absurd to you, well, that would be the observations of your claim. Let's try some comparisons. This is an aesthetically pleasing dark-haired female human of presumably Asian descent. why everything floats at the same time is because gravity does exist and it moves at a measured and known speed more commonly referred to as gravitational acceleration in most equations as little g gravity exists it's measurable it's calculable y'all have a nice oh my god